Hey, Steve. How are you, buddy? I'm awesome, Rich. Hey, how are you man, doing? I tell you, working in the office with you is fantastic. You have so many answers. Um, but let me let's talk about some things with the uh, what our people out in the in our communities are talking about. Obviously. Mm-hmm. They always ask, how's the market? Right. You know, housing market and interest rates. Interest rates, yeah. And we know the interest rates right now are lower than they were, higher than they were. They're kind of bouncing around a little bit. Sure. But there's a thing about interest rates that doesn't always get spoken about, and that's sure. kind of about where the credit score comes in to get that advertised interest rates. That's a good point, yeah. Give I mean, us a little spiel and uh, what's going sure. on. Sure. Well, and... and Feel free to interrupt me because you know I go along a little bit on some of these. But when we're talking about those advertised rates, so if you see the Freddie Mac Weekly Survey or you see Bankrate.com or Mortgage News Daily and you see the average 30-year fixed at, let's just say, 7% where we're at. on the, mm-hmm. That's going to be with a 780-plus FICO, 20 to 25% down on a $500,000 purchase price. And it's in really small font, usually like two to four font on the yes. very bottom of it, so you can't read it. But that's ideally what that rate being advertised. So people see that. So unfortunately, if you don't have that 780 FICO score or even sometimes a 760, you start dropping below those. Changes pay, that interest rate. Changes the interest rate. It's a risk score. factor. It's a risk factor okay. when you're talking about um, like a 7% interest rate. So let's just say 7% interest rate and <clears throat> I come in, I've got a 721 FICO score. Well, guess what? My, my, my rate might be a quarter to three eighths higher. Now you're talking seven and a quarter or seven to three eighths. Or if you want that 7% interest rate, it's going to cost you more than it would somebody with a better FICO score. So, Steve, we see the 780 FICO score, you know, for that 7% interest, that Mm -hmm. type of thing. Let's say someone doesn't have that best of credit. They have good credit, but not the best of credit. And they have some down, maybe not the 20% down. Okay. Tell me what what happens. Well, what happens then is then you've got to start pricing in risk Mm -hmm. factors. So as the FICO score drops, the interest rate goes up or the cost for that same advertised interest rate goes up for that borrower. So for an example, if you have a 7% interest rate with a 780 FICO score and I come in, I've got good credit. So let's just say I've got a 719 credit score or FICO score for qualifying. Well, I might pay about three eighths or a half point higher than somebody with a 780. So that's how credit affects the interest rate. Now, if I want that same 7%, it could easily cost me almost a point for that rate. And a point is 1%, 1% of the loan of value. The loan amount. Mm-hmm. So $300,000 loan is three, three grand three. in cost. So that's where a lesser FICO score can play into you not getting that advertised rate that you're seeing. So the other factor that plays into it as well is if you don't have the 20 or 25% down, then there's the factor of monthly PMI or mm-hmm. private mortgage insurance. I'll tell you what, let's do this though. Okay. For now. We've got a little tidbit out there. Let's next time, let's talk a little bit about the PMI. Okay. And how people can work on their own credit scores to help themselves get more ready or better ready to purchase and make a move. Absolutely. I love it.